I think a lot of people trust the Chad Day Bell and it makes me wonder who I should trust. Reaction from the community and family tonight in eastern Idaho as developments continue to unfold in the case of missing Rexburg kids JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan. JJ's grandparents released a statement today saying the children's remains were found yesterday on Chad Daybell's property. Law enforcement still have not confirmed that update. Our Misty Inglet spoke with several people from the community today to hear how they're coping with this information. She's live tonight in downtown Rexburg with the story. Misty. Well, Kim, again, we want to be very clear and transparent here. The grandparents, along with two other family members, have said that the remains are JJ and Tylee. However, Tylee's aunt, Annie Cushing, posting on social media that she has yet to receive any official confirmation and law enforcement still has yet to officially identify those remains. But the community here still very much affected. I think once I mean, he was taken into custody. I think all of us were like, oh, like we've been holding our breath, waiting for something further development. That development coming after investigators found two sets of human remains on Chad Daybell's property in Fremont County on Tuesday. Daybell was arrested and charged with two counts of concealing or destroying evidence. That news leaving community members with mixed emotions. It's pretty shocking and kind of crazy. We have such a small community around here that you just hope everything is so safe and secure, but man, it kind of scares you when you find out who you're living next to almost. I've been experiencing this through my phone screen, but now it's literally like across the street from us. And it's, it's, it's kind of hit home in different ways than one, mainly just being a mother myself and having kids. I'm like, how can you treat your children this way? The community has rallied around JJ and Tylee putting up posters and making sidewalk art in their honor. So it's just been very interesting to see how this case has strung different communities together and even just as small as we are stringing us into it too. Though official identification of the remains has yet to be announced by law enforcement, grandparents Kay and Larry Woodcock, along with JJ and Tylee's brother and sister-in-law, Colby and Kelsey Ryan, issued a joint statement saying the remains are, quote, Indeed, our beloved JJ and Tylee, we are filled with unfathomable sadness. These two bright stars were stolen from us and can only hope they died without pain or suffering, end quote. Lori Vallow's niece, Melanie Pulowski, and her family also issuing a statement saying they miss JJ and Tylee very much and, quote, the family will continue to closely watch the developing situation and will anxiously await the pending conclusions with heavy hearts, end quote. And again, Tylee's aunt also releasing a statement on social media saying she hasn't gotten any official confirmation on the identity yet and saying that, quote, people not rush to an announcement and that hopefully cooler heads will prevail. And again, Kim, still no official confirmation from law enforcement on those remains at this time and also no timeline yet of when we can expect that confirmation. Back to you in the studio. Two bright stars, as the statement from the grandparents said. Misty, thank you. And already we've received emails about several vigils happening across the state to remember JJ and Tylee, and we'll be sure to bring you those when they happen. Um, now to the other big news, though, in this case, and that is Chad Daybell's first court appearance today on two felony charges of destroying or concealing evidence. Lawyers spent the hearing arguing over bail, which was ultimately set at $1 million. He'll appear in court next month in Fremont County. Meanwhile, his wife and the children's mother, Lori Vallow, is requesting all documents related to his arrest. She's also due in court next month, but her preliminary hearing is in Madison County. For a link to all of our coverage in this case, text MISSING to the number on your screen, and we'll be sure to give you all of our information.